What's up YouTube, Sam and Sauce here and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can copy and paste structures in Minecraft using the structure block. This is really easy and really helpful if you want to move something or if you want to make the same exact thing somewhere else. This is very very helpful to know if you like playing Minecraft creative. The way that you get the structure block is you have to go in and type in the command you have to do the slash, then you have to type give, and then after you type give, you have to type in at s, because you want to give yourself the structure block, and then you want to type in structure, and then underscore, and block. And once you enter this command, this is going to give you your structure block, and there it is. So the way that you want to use the structure block, let's say I wanted to copy and paste this basketball court over here. But the way the structure block works, you put it down somewhere and you see this 5x5x5 five by five by five, uh, cube pop up. And the direction that it points, if I look at the map, I'm going to face north. I'm the white uh, arrow over there. The green arrows are... Uh, maps on an item frame which show up as green arrows for some reason but I am the white arrow I'm looking straight north right now so the direction that the structure block points its uh, cube is to the east and south just so you know so you know the orientation which means I would have to put the cube in this corner if I want to copy and paste it easily so if you go and click on the structure block you'll see all these different options of what you could do one thing you have to keep in mind is that for the offset the default setting is that y equals negative one and remember y is basically the height i have my uh coordinates set up in the top left so it's x y z y is in the middle when i go up y goes up when i go is this north when I go north and south, my Z changes. When I go east and west, my X changes, just so you guys know. So, what I have to do, I have to, I'm going to keep the offset for Y as negative 1 because we want the actual court floor to copy and paste as well. And we have to raise the Y so we could get all the way up to those lights. So how much taller do we need to go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... 5 plus 8, that's 13. So we're going to put Y at 13. So that is going to copy everything, including the lights. Then we got to change the X and the Y. So the X is in this direction. So the X is pretty long. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's try 30. And then we'll see how accurate that was. No way, was that? Wow, well, all right. I swear I did not measure that before. I swear I did not measure that before the video. Got it perfect. Okay. And then the Z, let's say 15. Nope, a little bit more. Let's say 19. Let's say 20. As you could see on the right, it actually shows the structure. You could go over here and like rotate it. Still not the whole thing. Let's say 25, that might be too much. 22? Yeah, 22. So now the entire structure is inside of the cube, or the rectangular prism, if I want to be geometrically correct about my shape here. So the whole structure is in this uh, box created by the structure block. So the way you want to copy it once you have it in there the mode is on save there's three modes save load and corner you want it on save you then you go over to structure name let's just name it zero you could name it something specific like basketball or basketball court i'm just going to do zero just so it's easy to remember that's pretty much it i'm going to save so i click save so now this structure is saved as zero the way that you want to paste it is you're going to take the structure block, you're going to put it down where you want it, and then you're going to go to load, 
and you're going to type in whatever you did and then over here it's going to show where exactly it's going to pay so you could go out of it and it shows the exact area of where it's going to uh, paste it right as I press load so once I press load it's going to paste in that exact location and you could do other stuff let's say if there's a lot of buildings around and you don't want to copy and paste it into those buildings you could do X Y and Z offset in order to move it around and you can also rotate it so let's say I want it to 90 degree turn again it shows exactly where the court is going to be pasted to but we don't need to rotate it we're just gonna take it we're gonna copy and paste it exactly how it is so we're gonna come here and we're gonna press load and as you could see over here it copy and pasted perfectly everything that was over here is now over here so if you guys found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell because I have a lot of other helpful videos and I have a lot of other build videos coming out soon too so you guys can see cool stuff that I've made in Minecraft and I'm also working on a huge project huge I've been working on this project for two years I don't want to say too much about it I want to leave it as a surprise but I want to say it from now it still probably needs another couple months before it's ready but just wanted to give you guys a heads up so I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure that all of you guys have a splendid day.